What is going on, Pats Nation? You guys already know who it is. Patriots Global here back with another video. And in this one, I want to talk about some roster moves that the New England Patriots are making here, not to the practice squad, but actually their 53-man roster after they had a roster opening spot by placing special teamer Cody Davis on season-ending injured reserve. They'll be replacing him and filling that 53-man roster spot by signing or rather claiming wide receiver slash special teamer rally web and again that's going to be off the ravens practice squad and not a free agency pickup now webb who is still very very young only 24 years old was actually an undrafted free agent signing here by the baltimore ravens just a couple of months ago he was part of the 2022 class this is a guy that I really believe the Patriots were interested in before he originally signed with the Ravens practice squad because this really is your just classic Bill Belichick player. He plays special teams and that's probably what he's going to be doing for his NFL career, but he actually converted from a defensive back to a wide receiver in college and earned first team all Southern Conference honors during his 57 game stay there. He ended up finishing his college career with 102 receptions for 2,151 yards and 22 touchdowns, along with 37 carries for 433 yards and 4 touchdowns. Along with that, he had 22 kickoff returns for 412 yards and 1 touchdown. This guy brings a lot of versatility. Now, do I think that he is a defensive back in the NFL no. Do I think that he's a true wide receiver in the NFL? No, I really do believe that he is a special teamer, but the fact that he's played in so many positions throughout his career in football can really bolt well for him because we've seen in the past Bill Belichick bring these types of guys along and they're the guys that he's able to develop the most. And then of course, him obviously having the ability here as a kick returner always bodes well when you're a player here in New England. I mean, you have to hope that at this point, the Patriots have solidified that that guy is going to be Marcus Jones. But, you know, a few weeks into the season, they've played three or four different returners now, which means they're not exactly solidified with that guy they want. He also does things really well that the Patriots do like to do. You know, the Patriots like to use their wide receivers in a multitude of different ways, especially on end arounds. And like I mentioned, during college, he had 37 carries for 433 yards and four touchdowns. So he's the guy that they could use with those end arounds, can use a little bit there in the running game and not just in the receiving game if they used to look him a little bit there on offense. Nice size too at six foot two, 204 pounds, a guy that can play as a boundary wide receiver, but also can play there in the slot. Now, I'm sure the Patriots are also very familiar with Webb, not just because they did some due diligence during the draft process, but more specifically because they saw him just a couple of weeks ago. Now, although he is on the practice squad there, or I should say was on the practice squad there for Baltimore, he served twice as a standard elevation in September for Baltimore. One of those elevations being the Ravens win against the New England Patriots in Gillette Stadium. He played a total of 34 snaps and he got one tackle in their kicking game on special teams. Now, like I mentioned, this move is mainly going to be for special teams. This is really going to come in and kind of serve as that replacement for Cody Davis. And I don't think that Webb's going to come in and be just that right away game changer for Davis. I think it's going to be a couple of different players. And I think that somebody like Calvin Munson, who the Patriots recently signed to the practice squad, could be a guy that they elevate and kind of help serve that role over on special teams because looting, losing Cody Davis is a much bigger loss than a lot of people give him credit for. He doesn't play offense. He doesn't play defense, but he is a key player for the Patriots on special teams, especially after they let Justin Bethel walk during 53-man roster cutdowns. I mean, Cody Davis ranks third on the Patriots special teams in snaps played. Now, what I will say here with Webb is that I don't think he has any roster security here for the Patriots. I think if New England's at a point where they need to release a guy from the 53 to make room for somebody else, I do think that Webb is that 53rd player on the Patriots roster. 
And some people will probably ask, you know, why did they not just sign him to the practice squad and elevate him? Well, because he was already on a practice squad again for Baltimore by NFL rules, you have to sign that player to your 53 man roster in order to actually claim them. Now, New England could release him from the 53 man roster in hopes of getting him on their practice squad, but you'd have to think that Baltimore would claim him at that point. And to even back up what I said before, you know, Bill Belichick himself knows that this Cody Davis loss is a big loss for the Patriots, as he said himself, and I quote, you lose that player on five different units, essentially meaning that Cody Davis didn't play one special teams unit, he played on all of them. So again, I don't expect Webb to come in and nobody should expect Webb to come in and serve the role that Cody Davis did, but he's going to help replace Cody Davis for the time being. But again, I think it's going to be a multiple player type of scenario in order to really compensate for the loss that you have here with Cody Davis. Webb is a guy too I honestly would have really liked to see with the Patriots throughout the entirety of the offseason and OTAs, minicamp, training camp, just to see exactly what the Patriots would try to do with him. I think he could be a story like a Gunnar Olszewski type of player who, you know, goes from defensive back to wide receiver and can contribute in a multitude of different ways. So while I don't really expect much of him throughout this season, maybe a couple of special teams tackles, hopefully the Patriots could get him back maybe next offseason and we can really see the potential here of Webb because he really just screams Bill Belichick type of player to me. But that's going to be it for today's video. What are your guys' thoughts on the Patriots claiming wide receiver slash special teamer rally Webb off of, again, the uh, Baltimore Ravens practice squad? Let me know in the comment section below. Remember to leave a big like on this video and subscribe to the channel for all of your New England Patriots news. But like always, I appreciate you guys for watching and go Pats.